So we're here with Jamie Waldron at the uh, the Butcher of Kingsville, and uh, the, which we're at there. Back today's their first day of operation, so congratulations. Now, Jamie, what Thank you. what exactly are you going to be uh, showing us here? Right now? Uh, well, I've got a rack of lamb from Woodsley, Ontario, from Udell Farms, and uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to French it out so that uh, you guys at home get an idea of how the process goes and. What you should be looking for um, from a properly butchered rack of lamb. So awesome. That's what we're going through today. So anyway, uh, the whole rack as is. Um, if I had the whole lamb here, I'd explain how it goes. But essentially, the shoulders come off of here. Uh, the loin comes off of here and work your way down to the legs. Okay, so the rack with the ribs, obviously. And we'll get to that point in a second. But uh, what I like to do is I like to take this cat meat off. Now, what is the purpose of, of taking that off? What? Well, these muscles, uh, much like a prime rib, uh, these muscles on the rack here are, uh, they're, they're different than this. Every, every muscle on the animal is different, right? So these muscles here don't really lend themselves well to the tenderness of the eye of the rack of lamb. So by taking off this meat here, uh, this will find its way into burgers or sausage or whatever have you, or just ground lamb that we're selling out of the freezer. Uh, this meat will find its way into there. This is a good braising type of, type of meat. So it lends itself well to grinding it up, or if you're going to braise it or something like that. There's a lot of different applications that works better for this than this, okay. which is a really, really tender piece of meat. Okay. So after we've taken that off, we can work on that a little bit later. Uh, there's a just a kind of a rubbery piece of back strap back here that I like to dig out. That's not really going to work well. That's a really, really tough piece. That's not going to work well with this as well. What we're trying to do is essentially get it down so that for presentation we'll have the clear off bones and we'll also have a really nice lean piece of very, very tender meat, okay? So now I get into Frenching out the rack. I look for my points on it, where I'm going to take it off. And I just connect the dots here. And I come in between each bone. Connect the dots again on the back. And then we get into the point where we're just going to be Frenching out this rack here. So take off this cat meat and we'll trim that out as well and that'll go into ground lamb or burgers or sausage, whatever have you. So. That bones. And then we'll just go down and we'll just connect these here. method to my madness here. This is mostly just about a presentation. Yeah. Up these bones. So then when we get to this point here, that's just trim there. Then what I like to do, and I'll explain why, and a lot of people end up asking me a question, is why do you do it like this? Well, I end up cleaning these bones off very, very, right down to the bone. Totally clean them off. And it was mentioned to me, you know, it was always just kind of a muscle thing that people were like, no, it's got to be done where I was working at before. And I never really had an appreciation as to why until I talked to a really, really good friend of mine who's also running a really, really fine dining restaurant in uh, Dundas at Quatrefoil. The reason why we clean off these bones is because this meat that's left on there, if it's left on there, can add a really, really bitter flavor to it. And it can really infect the meat uh, when you're cooking it because you're cooking it. Uh, this is going to be cooking for roughly about 20 minutes. Well, if you're cooking this meat on this bone, this is almost going to become crispy and hardened. It's going to add a real sour note to it. So by cleaning this meat off of these bones and this fat, you're not going to really be infecting the flavor of the, the rack with it. So let's clean up these bones. This is the really exciting part. <laughs> or the really tedious part, the part that everybody that's uh, around the shop rather just avoid like the plank but I find it therapeutic. Go back down the other way. <laughs> to each their own, right? <laughs> to each their own. So I find it therapeutic anyway, so and you'll see that and you know what? On top of everything else, it presents a lot nicer too. And 
I'll make my way over to the saw and just trim these bones up in a second here and give you guys a better look. Clean up the bones and then French shell rack of lamb. Awesome.